Hi guys, Mr. Adams here. Um, welcome to GCSE History. Uh, this is going to be the first in a series of videos looking at the Medicine Through Time unit that you are studying. Uh, this unit makes up one of the four units that you will uh, look at for your GCSE History course and you will be examined on that at the end of the two-year period. Now, the point of this video is just to introduce you to some of the main themes, approaches and content that you will see in this particular unit. Um, and we'll do future videos um, which will go through other aspects of, uh, of the course, other aspects of the content and things to support your learning with this. Now, one of the first things you'll notice from looking at this slide is that we are covering a large chunk of history in this 1250 to the present day so we're talking pretty much 800 years worth of history now this is what we call a development study and um, what examiners are looking for you to be able to do here is to take a big chunk of history and to explain it in a meaningful way now the skill that we're looking at with this is uh, your historical skill of understanding change and continuity what has changed in medicine and health across this time period and equally what has stayed the same within that we will look at why things have changed or stayed the same and indeed the pace and the extent to which things have changed <clears throat> Now, obviously, this is a large chunk of time that we're going to study, so you do need a way of breaking this down. So, in terms of what you will study, we'll have a look at it in this kind of order. We'll tackle medieval medicine to start with, then the period known as the Renaissance, medicine in the 18th and 19th centuries, and we will finish the main bit of the course by looking at modern medicine. So that will break it down chronologically for us and we'll work through some similar themes in each of these time periods, of which I'll go into more um, a bit later on. You'll notice that there is also a Medicine on the Western Front 1914 to 1918 section. This is because you also within this unit have to do a source inquiry um, bit of work when this will ask you to look specifically at uh, the British section of the Western Front, so the trenches in the First World War, and the injuries, the illness, and the treatments that existed there. We will do that bit at the end of the rest of the medicine course. So in terms of how you will go about studying it, um, as I said previously, this is largely at looking at this idea of what has changed, what has stayed the same in medicine and health across this large period of time. When we're assessing this change, we want to be asking ourselves a couple of questions. So why did things change? What brought about um, these changes? And then the, basically then we need to look at the speed of change and the extent of change. So when did things change quickly? When did things change more slowly? When did things change a lot? When did things change only a little? And those are the kind of parameters that we're going to use to try and understand the topic. Finally, in terms of looking at the content, we are going to break each section down. So each bit of time that we look at, um, we're going to study the same sort of themes as we go through. Um, and probably the most important of these is um, the causes of disease. Now, what we mean by this is in each of the time periods that we study from 1250 through to the present day, what did people believe caused them to be ill? What did they believe was the cause of illness and disease? Now, this is really, really important that we understand within this that we are looking at what those people thought it was that was making them ill. Not what we know it would have been, but what they thought it was. And this is really important, and this is what, as we're going to go through this, we're going to learn that this idea of causes of disease is our start point for understanding everything else. Because your understanding of what you think is making you ill determines how you go about trying to treat that illness. The other kind of section that we're going to look at, or the next kind of section, is the treatment of disease. So once we understand what people thought was making them ill, 
how did they go about treating illness? So what types of treatment did they use? Why did they use those treatments? And also what types of people would treat you? And we can probably think of um, lots and lots of different people who would treat you today. So obviously you would go to, for example, the opticians. If you had a problem with your eye, um, you'd go to your GP. But there's a, there's a whole range of things. So as we look through the time sections that we're going to study, who would treat you in each of these time periods and how would they go about treating you? Obviously, one of the major elements in this when we're looking at um, disease and treatments of disease is the idea of surgery. So one area that we're interested in is, is how did surgery develop over time? Uh, surgery, even going back 200 years, looks incredibly or looked incredibly different to uh, what we understand about surgery today. And again, we're thinking about, OK, well, what has changed in surgery? How quickly has it changed? And why is it that surgery looks very different today than it did 200 years ago? And the final section that we will we will see as a theme running all the way through uh, this course is the idea of public health. So the health of the people living within the country and specifically what have governments done to keep the people of the country healthy, if anything, in certain time periods. When we're talking about governments, as I'll go into um, in another video, we're looking at the people who are in charge. So if we're going back to 1250, we're looking at kings and queens and to, up to present day, we're talking about uh, the government today. What do they do to try and keep people healthy? So finally, at the end of this first introductory video, I thought it might be good for you to go away and have a bit of a think at this moment in time and think about things like this. How advanced is medicine and medical knowledge today? Okay, what do we know today? Um, what, uh, what do we know about illness? What is causing it? What do we know about treatments? Um, what types of people will treat us? How much emphasis is there on, on public health? from the government? What do the, what do the government do to try and keep us healthy? And have a think a little bit about, well, what, what would we need to know to have reached this point? Okay, in terms of our understanding of disease, what do we think causes disease today? Why is it that we, that we think this? Why is it that we know this? What sort of things are going on there? Okay, uh, hopefully this has been a, uh, a good little introduction for you. Um, and, and introduced you to the main things we're going to look at. Uh, in the next video, we're going to have a bit more of a look at how you go about understanding this idea of change. Okay, see you later.